The architecture of the Buddha's dome palace is themed on offerings. It is divided into two parts, the big and small dome, meaning external and internal offerings. The length of the great dome is 120 meters. The Buddha's robe covers the small dome of the dungeon, symbolizing Buddha's infinite blessings. The small dome as a whole resembles a bun of Buddha's hair. The base of the small dome is in the form of a lotus flower throne. The entire lotus throne, a total of 56 Yunmen Rui pillars, symbolizing auspiciousness and good fortune, and 56 pillars symbolizing the Buddha's infinite wisdom. The flying Bodhi gate consists of, combined with the small dome, Mani bead, up and down, forming the sacred image of a lotus flower holding a precious treasure, step into it. Beautifully engraved Buddhist texts. the first floor of the Palace of Buddha's Dome. It is a huge domed hall called Zen Mirror Hall. The center of the hall. A huge reclining statue of Siddhartha Gautama is enshrined in the center of the hall. The hall is 112 meters long from north to south, 62 meters wide, east-west. Total building height is 46.5 meters. Over 6,000 square meters of space, oval in shape, Zen culture at the heart of Zen Jing Daiguan. Let people realize the miracle of Siddhartha Gautama's transformation from a human being to a Buddha, leaving the Zen mirror, going down the escalator. Come to another holy place, the Hall of a Thousand Buddhas. The Hall of a Thousand Buddhas is vaulted in space. The space includes three underground levels. Hall of a Thousand Buddhas layout, according to the five directions and five Buddhas of Huazhu world, to represent the Vajra world centered on the stupa of the relics of Mahakala, plus the four Paramitayana Bodhisattvas on the sacred pagoda, symmetrical to the four square Buddhas around the circumference of the corridor. The 16 Bodhisattvas of Huimen. the four regarded Bodhisattvas and the eight internal and external offerings. Bodhisattvas a three-dimensional representation of the Buddhist Tantric Vajra realm, sacred scene of the fourth mandala offering session. The most striking in the center of the Hall of a Thousand Buddhas. It's a stupa for the relics of the Buddha's head bone. The tower is 21.8 meters high, modeling based on the Dazen N Temple Gilt, Seven Jewels Ashoka Pagoda Modeling. 
The periphery of the Hall of a Thousand Buddhas is the Gallery of Ten Thousand Buddhas, enshrining tens of millions of Buddha statues of all sizes. Take the escalator down again. Coming to the bottom floor of the Palace of Buddha's Dome. It's also the most solemn and mysterious place. The Palace of the Relic. The Sharizo Palace is located 44 meters below ground. Sakyamuni Buddha's parietal bone relic will be enshrined here for a long time. Sakyamuni Buddha's parietal bone relic. There are only seven times a year that it is offered to the public. New Year's Day, Spring Festival, and National Day and the eighth day of the second month of the lunar calendar on which Shakyamuni Buddha was born. Nirvana Day, 15th day of the second lunar month. Buddha's birthday, the eighth day of the fourth lunar month, the eighth day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar.